Hello everyone, Steve the Technophile here, and I just wanted to give everybody a quick update on our indoor hydroponic gardens here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions and comments, and I just wanted to thank everybody. Um, like I said, I'm a noob, <laughs> so I will do my best to answer all your questions. Uh, but thank you to the uh, other people who have chimed in and helped out. I, I do appreciate it because I'm learning from you guys also. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on our uh, Aero Garden. So this one is the Bounty Elite with Wi-Fi. And uh, yes, we still have issues with the Wi-Fi. You can see the signal is blue right now, but we are having um, connection like last night. It just wouldn't work. Not a deal breaker, but I just don't think if it's something, you know, that you really don't need, I don't recommend going the, you know, going and looking out for a Wi-Fi model, it's just not stable. I've tried connecting it to my hotspot on my phone, uh, and I still had issues in having problems with the router that we have here in the house, which is a high-powered, um, high-range Wi-Fi router. So I've tried changing so many settings to accommodate this guy, and it really shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, so no, I do not recommend an Aero Garden Bounty Elite unit with Wi-Fi. If you get it, that's great. Uh, maybe your configuration would work, but for me, it's just really intermittent. It's not, again, not a deal breaker for me. It still grows everything beautifully. Uh, it's just not stable in my environment, unfortunately. But uh, so recently, I did cut away about one third of the roots on the bottom of this guy, and I can put some pictures in there f here for you uh, and change the water and add the nutrients. And it made a big difference. My mint kind of exploded, as you can see. It's hanging off the side. It hasn't grown like that much at all. The thyme started growing a little bit more. And um, yeah, I just feel like it kind of rejuvenate, rejuvenated the system. I was thinking maybe is this a placebo effect? Um, but I've been changing the water and the nutrients. And I mean, it still is growing, but the, the roots, cutting away just a little bit of the roots seem to have done something. They really don't recommend it. You don't have to do it, but if it's taking up a lot of the water bin and you have more roots than water, then it's time to change some of the uh, trim some of the roots. Over here, we have our new little guy. This is the Aero Garden Harvest Elite 360, and uh, I'm growing romaine and mixed greens. You're probably wondering why is there a fan back there? Lettuce likes wind and likes to be cooler than the environment it's in. Uh, these lights get really warm. And let's see. Yeah, this one's currently at 74.4 degrees. Uh, it's it's warm. And I, you know these are LED lights. They're still going to produce a little bit of heat. Um, they're not 100% heat free. Uh, so that's why I have a fan. Also, the air moving around it, you can kind of see the leaves moving a little bit. That'll help keep your uh, lettuce a little bit crisper. Plus it feels nice standing in front of it. It's a cool little breeze. <laughs> just want to show you down here the light is blinking and that's letting me know that I need to add uh, the plant food. And for the six pod unit you want to use two capfuls at startup and two capfuls at every feeding. I just added the two capfuls of nutrients. You might see the water is a little bit uh, darker, a little bit browner because of that. And in the Aero Garden Harvest, it's going to ask you to push the Aero Garden button uh, after you add the plant food. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says plant food added. So right now we are at 14 days planted. And you can see, you can actually hear the pump just turned on, uh, which is nice because you want that nutrient to, you want the nutrients basically to, to circulate in there. After I've added nutrients into this guy, I always run the, um, the pump manually for a minute just to make sure the food circulates in there well. So this is romaine lettuce and mixed greens. It's growing really well. The brown spots back here are normal. If you read the literature that comes with your um, 
your pods, especially the lettuce. It's cool because it comes with pictures and it says these spots are normal. Because <laughs> I know I would have, if I didn't read it, I'd be thinking that maybe the you know the nutrients aren't reaching this plant or it's burning. But nope, that is what it's supposed to look like, and I think it looks great. I do recommend getting some form of instrument to let you know what your humidity and temperature is in your garden area. If you're experiencing any issues with growth, uh, I really think these are important instruments to rely on. Uh, excessive heat, lack of humidity, too much humidity, uh, too cold, really makes a, a huge difference in your growing environment. So I think this is just another extra nice tool to have around to keep you, uh, you know, in the know of what's going on. These, you know, systems as smart as they, they can be, they don't let you know what the temperature is of the water. Uh, lettuce likes cooler water, cooler environments. And uh, I really, again, I think these types of instruments make a big difference. Next we have our botaniums. And I really could not be happier with these guys. They're relatively simple. They give you a grow medium. It comes with the unit. You get the two piece unit. The, the top part here holds the grow medium, growth medium, and the bottom part holds water. And there's a reservoir, uh, kind of like a window here that lets you know how much water is in there. Every three hours, a pump, which kind of looks almost like the air garden pump, pushes the water up. There are holes on the sides you can see in there and then kind of come out in a star-shaped pattern and every three hours it waters the plant. This is a sweet banana pepper plant and as you can tell these guys are huge. They look great and this flowers smell amazing. You don't necessarily need a grow lamp for these if it's near a sunny window or the you know whether you, you use a plant where your environment that you have light is appropriate, you really don't need it. But I have this in the corner of a house on purpose because I want to control the amount of light. And this guy is doing really, really well. I did plant three seeds, let all three germinate, and took two out. And this guy has flourished. I will leave a link below about the grow lights. And no, the grow light does not come with the, the wall mount. Uh, that you see in the back. We 3D printed that. And then we put on Velcro 3M strips because this has to get moved up maybe once a week now. Um, it's growing really, really well. Next we have our other botanium and this is cayenne peppers. This guy is huge. Uh, I'm trying to kind of give you a perspective of how big this guy is. I'm on the floor looking up now. <laughs> and uh, it's it's doing really, really well. I could not find online if this was a self-pollinating plant. So I have taken it upon myself to uh, use an end of a Q-tip and gently pollinate the flowers. And as you can see, the peppers are turning from green to very, very vibrant red. Uh, this is on the same botanium system where it pushes water up through the growth medium every three hours. And uh, you do use, you can use any type of hydroponic fertilizer, make sure it is hydroponic fertilizer, uh, but I choose to use their botanium and you just use four of their drops, um, basically. They call it pipettes. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but use four of those every time you refill this with water. And that's what it recommends for chili peppers and the banana peppers that I'm growing. I really could not be happier with this botanium setup. And if you're wondering how I'm doing my time lapses, I just have a very, very old iPhone 6 over here. <laughs> and uh, that's how I'm doing my time lapses. It's really quick and easy. I just open up the phone or the camera app, switch it to time lapse, set it on this little stand, 
and uh, let it do its thing. I was trying some of the GoPro videos, uh, the GoPro that we have. We have two of them, and the setup was just a little too complicated. I don't have time uh, to really mess with a lot of that stuff. I just wanted something simple and quick, and it works, works really well. So if you guys want to try it yourself, I recommend it. That's just a quick update on our corner gardens here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I will do my best to answer them. I know other people will chime in and help, and I do appreciate that. If you're interested in any of the items I've spoken about today, I will leave links below, and you can check them out yourself. Uh, I do recommend uh, getting a grow light if you have some plants in a dark corner. It's a great way to kind of, you know, make the make the grow environment kind of pop with some color and a little bit of extra light is always good for your plants. All right, I will chat with you all later. Thank you.